What's up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Indy Card Tim here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Butch here on the Fish Report YouTube channel. Welcome into the program. Welcome into the channel, this growing, growing little baby toy that Fish is building and has been growing. And uh, you just want to wrap it up like a little baby and cuddle it and take care of it. That's what we're all doing here. We appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting the channel, supporting Fish. Uh, the latest Cowboys trade rumors as mentioned by the NFL Network and Rich Eisen, is DK Metcalf to the Cowboys. Wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, read what Rich said, read the quotes, and we'll go over that here briefly. And I kind of disagree with Rich. Um, but what did he say? Well, of course, everybody's talking about the disgruntled Seattle Seahawks receiver DK Metcalf. He wants out of Seattle, and why wouldn't you? That ship is sinking rapidly. and. It was interesting that Rich Eisen pointed to the Cowboys as a possible or likely landing spot, and he kind of likened Jones, uh, Jerry Jones's history with these massive trades, these blockbuster trades. Here's what Rich Eisen said on the NFL Network. Quote, Dallas should be on the phone to Seattle right now. How huge would DK Metcalf be with the star on the side of his helmet? I do appreciate his star ability to make himself a figurative star wherever he goes with a star on the side of that helmet. Thanksgiving days, Monday nights, Sunday nights, DK Metcalf on the Dallas Cowboys is exactly the play that Jerry Jones would make. It's exactly the play Jerry Jones is built to make, end quote. All right, I agree with every bit of what he said until that very last part when he said that's the play Jerry Jones would make. That was true at one time. Think about 1992, Charles Haley. You think about 2000, Joey Galloway. You think about 2012, Brandon Carr. But what about 2022? I think things have changed and there's evidence of that. And think about God, even Amari Cooper uh, going back to something recent. The Cowboys gave up a first rounder to get Cooper and then immediately started paying him $20 million a year. They were not happy with the results, of course, resulting in that offseason salary dump and a worthless trade to, to uh, Cleveland. And there's something more at work here, and that's the fact that Jerry just isn't the one making decisions by himself anymore. Uh, Steven is pretty much the co-GM, and I think maybe even more than just a co-GM. I think he is the GM right now. It all goes through Jerry still, but I think Steven is the one. We already know that he's the salary cap guru, has been for quite some time now. But Steven has a different philosophy than Jerry. And Steven's belief is that both the roster and the cap need to be balanced in a way that maximizes the possibility of long-term contention. Like Jerry's was more load up and go for it now, like what the Rams are doing. Jerry, uh, Stephen doesn't think that way. Neither does Will McClay, who also has some, some input here, of course. Under Stephen, since he's been really in charge here, the Cowboys have been more of a we develop and sign our own type mentality. And that's fine. I mean, just look at the current salary cap situation. The, cap, the Cowboys have $22 million available in, in cap spending right now. So spend it all on Metcalf? Um, Anthony Barr, Minnesota free agent linebacker. What about bringing Robert Quinn back from the Bears? You could spend it, and you could bring somebody in to help your team. Steven's philosophy is more keep that $22 million stashed away for when it comes time to pay C.D. Lamb, Trayvon Diggs, Micah Parsons. But you look at the, the history again with this about signing and developing our own. What's... What's just happened here? Michael Gallup drafted in 2018, re-signed this year to a $13 million per year contract. Uh, C.D. Lamb drafted in 2020. is going to be eligible for his big money season in the spring of 2020. Uh, Jalen Tolbert drafted this season. He'll be on the cheap for the next four years. Hopefully he works out. So it wouldn't be wrong to trade literally a treasure trove of picks because you're going to probably need to be at least a first and third round, first and second and a third. I don't know. I don't know what Seattle's asking for uh, Metcalf. 
He's only 24. And he's on the cheap for this year because he's only making $4 million in the last year of his rookie deal. But then you got to pay him. And you're looking at $25 million a year probably just because that's the going rate. Look at everybody else in his draft class that just got paid. Um, you know, look what Terry McLaurin just got in, in uh, Washington. But the thinking is wrong to say that that's, this is the way the present day Cowboys do business or to say that Jerry Jones, that's just the way Jerry Jones does it. Because number one, Jones isn't the one doing it anymore. I think it has, has more to do with Steven, Will McClay. And again, you look at the Rams. Uh, we talked about it. Their philosophy is to load up and go for it. And it has been for quite some time. And what's the result there? Two Super Bowls in the last four years. Now, the Cowboys uh, save up, sign our own. Is that working? Well, not yet. The Rams way is working. The Cowboys way isn't working. Not yet. It might, but it's not yet. So the question is, which way is the right way? I don't know. It's working for the Rams. That doesn't mean it's going to work for the Cowboys. Um, but that's just not the way the Cowboys do business these days. I love Rich Eisen, and he's a he's a Cowboys fan, and he keeps up with the Cowboys a lot. So it kind of shocked me when he made that statement because it's just not true anymore. But anyway, those are my thoughts on DK Metcalf coming to Dallas. I would love to have DK Metcalf here. I don't know if the Cowboys will pay him. Clearly, Steven doesn't want to pay him or anybody else. They didn't want to pay Von Miller. Uh, it's, I, I just I don't know what's happening, <laughs> to be honest with you. Appreciate everybody tuning in here at the Fish Report YouTube channel. We'll do it all again down the road. Until then, everybody, ha happy 4th of July. Have a safe week, and we'll see you.